Good morning students. Welcome to Leela's tutorial. So let us start with the animal biotechnology. The first topic, animal cell culture media. So what do you mean by animal cell culture? Animal cells are cultured in vitro under favorable environment. So here the media what you are providing, it is a balanced salt solution which is creating a favorable environment for the cell. As if they are growing inside the body of an organism, you are going to provide the same conditions or the same cultural conditions in the container or in the animal tissue culture lab. So here, before going into the detail, the animal cell culture was started first in 1903. So there, the scientists started uh, to maintain the animal cells in vitro. That was the first time where the animal cells were maintained outside the body. Right, that is inside the lab. Then in 1907, Ross Harrison, the scientist, he was successful in culturing the tissues of cold-blooded animals. That is the frog cells were cultured and maintained. Then after that, now you know they are culturing in animal biotechnology. We have culturing of cells, tissues, organs and all. Right. So let us go into the topic. So what are the favorable conditions for these animal cells to grow? So first thing is the temperature. The temperature required for the animal cells is 37 degrees centigrade. Then next coming to the substrate. Here the substrate is not the food but it is the container or the vessel in which the animal cells are cultured. So here you have anchorage dependent cells that means these cells adhere to the substrate that means they are dependent to the substrate they once they get adhered to the substrate then only they start growing so anchorage dependent cell consists of anchorage proteins so that property initiate them to go and bind to the substrate then only they can grow right then you have the growth factors in order to fasten the growth then the CO2 incubator is another important property of the animal cells where they require at least 4 to 5 percent of CO2 in order to maintain the pH and also osmolarity condition. Right? So the CO2 incubator always it must be maintained with 4 to 5 percent CO2 supply. So unlike your microorganisms, animal cells cannot grow in normal incubator. They require CO2 incubator. Right? Then if you see the media. So the media whatever you are providing, it is not suitable for all the cells. So each and every cell or uh, kidney cell, liver cell, skin cell. So these all are different types of cells where they require the same components but their composition may differ. Right? The components are same but the composition of the components vary from one cell culture to the another cell culture. But here we can say that there must be some basic components which are required for all the types of cells. All type of cells can be grown in basic media. So here we can say the basic media is also referred as minimal media. Right? So this minimal media consists of your antibiotics, glucose, vitamins, serum, attachment factors, buffers, amino acids and inorganic salts. Right? So if you see the antibiotics, why we require antibiotic here? Because in order to avoid the contamination of bacteria, fungi or any other mycoplasma. Right? So here mostly we make use of penicillin, streptomycin or fungizone in order to avoid bacterial and fungal contamination. Then you have glucose where the glucose acts as a carbon source. Then you have the vitamins where mostly we provide B1 and B12 vitamin in order to, to obtain the optimal growth of the cells. Then you have the serum where they provide hormones and growth factors. Then the attachment factors as I told anchorage dependent cells go and adhere to the substrate. If they are anchorage independent cells that means they lack anchorage proteins. So they can't go and bind to the substrate. 
in that case we are going to provide them with an attachment factors that is the plasma clot is added right so that they go and adhere to the substrate then you have the buffers in order to maintain the ph mostly the 7.4 then you have the amino acids which acts as a source of nitrogen and inorganic salts which provides all the micronutrients required for your animal cells right so these are the basic nutrients so hence we call them as minimal or the basic media where any type of cell can be grow right so going into the detail if you see the media is classified into two types first one is natural media and the second is artificial media right so the natural media the name itself implies that it is obtained from naturally occurring body fluids right so any type of naturally occurring bo body fluid can be used as the media so let us see the first one it is the plasma clot right so as i told you simply the blood is allowed to clot and then the plasma clot is used as a media so here this provides the growth factors and all other compounds or the components required for the growth of the animal cells then you have another type where you can use the biological fluids right so here the biological fluids which you use can be the serum plasma or um, amniotic fluid or placental fluid or any other fluid of the body right then you have the tissue extract so here the tissues are used to culture the animal cells so the tissues are matched and filtrate is used as an extract so here example is bovine extract chick embryo extract calf extract right and you can use any other type of cell extracts or the tissue extracts also based on the type of the cell so these all are the natural media whose components are known but their composition what is the composition of each component you don't know it is right it is unknown so it is undefined media right it is naturally occurring body fluids but it is chemically undefined media where the components are known but their composition is unknown right so that is the natural media let's go to the artificial media so here the artificial name itself implies that you are going to synthesize synthesize that media or you are going to prepare that media by adding the nutrients so here again the artificial media is referred as synthetic media or chemically defined media why you calling it as chemically defined because you know what is the composition of the component what you are have added in that right so here uh, let's come to this so again the artificial media is classified into two types first one is serum rich media or serum containing media right and the second one is serum free media right so here the serum rich media mostly we obtain the serum from the fetus of bovine right so that is called as fbs or fetal bovine serum so this a uh, fetal bovine serum is added to the basic media so all the components will be present and along with that you are going to add fetal bovine serum right so here you know the composition of all these components but you don't know what is the composition of the components present in this serum okay so it is partially defined media okay you know the partial components composition is known but the serum component is known but their composition is unknown is that clear so it is partially defined media so in this again the media consists of growth factors and hormones which initiates the growth of your animal cells and also why serum is added because it consists of mitogens mitogens are nothing but the agents which initiate the mitosis that means they improve the cell growth and cell division right 
because of that you are going to add serum to the the minimal media okay now here you know only half of the components composition but you don't know what the what are the components composition of your serum right only half of the components composition is known right next coming to the serum free media right so here the name itself implies it is serum free that means no serum is added right but here the media contains growth factors but they are artificially added that means what all components are present in the serum they are added artificially to this basic media right the basic media what you have added you know the components and their composition and now instead of adding the serum from the animal what you are doing you are adding the what all components are present in the serum artificially you are adding all the components so now you know the composition of your minimal media components and also you know the composition of the serum artificially added components composition is that clear but it is of increased cost right why it is having the increased cost because it is highly chemically defined media each and every component present in it we know their composition is that clear so here the composition of all the components is known so now when compared to all these three types of media that is the natural media the serum free media or serum rich media which one would be better which is having high reproducibility or which can have increased cell growth so that means here you can say that the serum free media will have increased reproducibility because you know the composition of each and every component you have added right and there will not be any cross reactions whereas here this is also the synthetic media but you know the components composition of only basic components right but you don't know what is the composition of the components present in the serum right so these serum components may have cross reaction with your cell cultures or the cell lines right so the reproducibility is less when compared to your serum free media so coming to back to the natural media here it is completely chemically undefined media right so it is having highly or very very low or the poor reproducibility is that clear so here out of all these media the serum free media is the best media for your animal cell growth or the animal cell culture so now you have the exception so in this exception apart from these three media we make use of chemically defined lipid concentrate media here in this type of media we use this specifically when we are going to culture a stem cells right is that clear so here with this uh, we are uh, we are done with the animal cell culture media if you have any doubts you can put it in the comments okay students uh, for further lectures you can subscribe the channel